Okay, good morning. We're a group Go Talk, and uh, welcome to our final project presentation. This is the agenda for today, and uh, let's begin with the introduction. Uh, what we are trying to do, we uh, try to build the role play game, and the background story will be Game of Thrones. And during the game, will be Jon Snow, and we'll speak for him. And all the contents will be generated from NLP models. And on the right, you can see the con uh, we have contacts and choice, and they will be generated from the model. And in the response, it will be user inputs, where you could choose one of the three options, or you could uh, put your own words with the other option. And this project is mainly for fun, or it could be served as an uh, auxiliary reference tool for plot design. And for the data set, we collect the uh, Game of Thrones book text scripts from Kaggle, and there's five books in total. And we only select, uh, since the book is written in character sections, like shown here, and we are only select, select those from John's sections. And we merge all the John's, uh, John's parts together, which gives us uh, 4,900 lines in total. And the most important uh, data processing we did is to transform John's dialogue and add special dialogue tokens to, to, the line, to each line. And why is this necessary? Because books usually write dialogues in different formats and in more vivid manner with, uh, with a lot of uh, descriptions attached nearby. But uh, uh, rather, rather than simply state who said what, uh, which is a uh, need for our model da uh, data. And it is, um, and by doing the transformation, it makes uh, us more convenient to locate John's dialogue in the generation, and which also gives better generating uh, performance of the model. And okay, we have uh, three cases to consider for uh, find John's uh, dialogue. And case one, we have only one pair of the quotation marks, and John is at the start of the line, and we will simply replace uh, the quotation marks with the BOS beginning of the speech and EOS ending of the speech, uh, since we are assuming this sentence is uh, speak by John. And case two, uh, we still got one pair of the quotation, but now John is right after the first ending quotation mark, and followed by a past uh, tense verb uh, ending with ed, or is in the special verb uh, list, like said, felt, or told. And again, we just simply do the same replacement with the quotation marks. And case three, uh, now we have two pair of the quotation marks, but John is in the uh, middle of the middle of them, and uh, the verb condition is the same as case two. And again, we uh, move the John uh, move John to the front and uh, merge the quotation parts together within the special tokens. And these three cases covers most uh, cases that we encounter for the data processing. And, and following on the, uh, the processing, we did a few more steps to clean the data set, which based on our ex uh, uh, experience from the experiments. And we split data into train and test files uh, with a ratio of 0.2. And uh, in each uh, sam sample data, it will include uh, 50 tokenized words. Next, please. And as for our model and software, we use a Game of Zoom model that pre-trained on GPT-2 large. Then uh, we fine tune it with our pre-processed data. We also create a GPT-3 version. We will discuss it in a few slides. And as for our software, uh, we use React and Flux to develop an interactive game and deploy it on the EC2 instance. So. Um, First, I'm going to introduce the workflow of the GPT-2 version. And, uh, it will, so the model will first send the previous context to the model, and then the model will start to generate three different contexts, uh, three different dialogue options. And based on the uh, based on what user selected, uh, the model will append the selected dialogue to the context uh, on the top. And then, uh, and the, the new context will be treated as uh, the next context. And for the GPT-3 version, uh, it's slightly different than the GPT-2 version. So the server will append the context after the initial prompt, then send the prompt and the context to the GPT-3 text completion model. The GPT-3 model will automatically generate the next context together with the three dialogue options. 
And for GBT, GBT2 evaluation, we have two standards. The first rule uh, is uh, we need uh, EOS to be ahead of BOS, and they need to be shown uh, in pairs. And second, we need proper content within the generated dialogues. Like uh, John should be, shouldn't, uh, should be within the special token, or like quotation marks should also be excluded. And we solve, uh, we ensure the two rules by using the uh, stopping criteria and that word list uh, within the model generation uh, parameters. And the only invalid generation left with us, uh, since we are trying to uh, control the uh, generated context to be proper length, uh, so we consider uh, the generation to be too long if it reaches the maximum length generated, but no BOS or US token has shown up. And the following is a random sample play we include here. It includes three iterations of the three sections we uh, saw before. And the error rate uh, is only 8%. Uh, next, please. And we can see here the, the text in yellow is the preset introduction. And this is the first generated context. And we'll be given three options. And we select, we have nowhere else to run. Uh, as option C, you can see it, it's quite logical for the first iteration. But if we come to the uh, second, uh, it goes more illogic uh, since we saw the character jumps from John to Brandon. And in the dialogue, it gives uh, Brienne or Sam, which is a bit uh, jumpy. And next, please. So the first context is the Lord Commander uh, is, ga is giving Jon Snow a mission. And so now for uh, the, the... The first choice would be set up. So I'll, I'm ready for whatever task is has me. That's our choice. And this is the generated uh, context and option. And we could choose any of the options here. Maybe let's take, I, I won't let you, to, uh, how many white workers are there? And we'll send to the server and we'll uh, give that the context and option from GT3. Okay, nice. Great. Cool. So it works. Yeah. yeah, it works. And after five rounds, you will see the context lead you to kill that king. Okay, great.